Stories of the Bible, the walls of Jericho. This is Joshua. Oh, hey. Joshua was the leader of the Israelites who God used to bring his people to the promised land. Yeah, let's do this. When God told Joshua it was time to take the promised land, Joshua sent spies into the city of Jericho. While those spies were in Jericho, Come on. they were protected by a woman named Rahab. The spies promised to spare Rahab and her family when they took back the land. Yay! And she hung a scarlet cord from her window to remind them of their promise. See you soon! Hey! Hello! One day, Joshua looked up, huh? and there was a man standing before him. Hello. The man said, I am the commander of the army of the Lord. Joshua asked what the man wanted to tell him, and the Lord said he wanted Joshua to take the city of Jericho, All right. but that Joshua needed to follow his instructions exactly. You got it. Now Jericho was shut for fear of the Israelites. Yeah, I went home? Yeah, I went. No one came out and no one came in. So the Lord told Joshua to gather his soldiers. And march around the city for six days. The priests were to take the Ark of the Covenant, and seven priests were to go in front of it, blowing a ram's horn. On the seventh day, they were to march around the city seven times and blow the horn. Then all the people of Israel were to give a great shout. Then what? And then the city walls would fall. Whoa! Yeah, let's do it! So Joshua said, Shout for the Lord has given you the city. And the people did shout. Yeah! And the walls did fall. Let's go! The Israelites overtook the city of Jericho as God had commanded. They remembered Rahab because of her faithfulness. Now Joshua was faithful in carrying out God's commands, and the Israelites took many other cities as God told them they would, for God will never fail to fulfill His promises. So the Israelites came to live in the land that God had promised their fathers Abraham, Isaac, Israel, Joseph, and Moses many years ago.